Okay guys, I have a little bit of a problem here. I actually misdiagnosed, okay? I did, um, I feel bad about it. So I got a Ford Escape here, 2005, and it had a PO191, okay? That's fuel pressure sensor, right? So I was trying to figure out, okay, well, what can it be other than fuel pressure sensor? Obviously there's a problem, we're not getting the right amount of fuel pressure, okay? So I did a, took the line off, put my uh, fuel pressure gauge on it, and I was getting a clean 40 pounds pressure, right? And so basically had no choice, right? Okay, I'm getting good fuel pressure. Um, it's, it wouldn't stay running really long enough to see if the pressure would drop at all. Um, so, no choice. Well, obviously a choice now. So we pr replaced the uh, fuel pressure sensor. That's that little bastard right there, okay? That's $180, 180 bucks. Not the problem. I was not happy. I was so mad. So anyway, when you turn the ignition on in this thing, you can hear the pump kind of click on and it's like really tight. So I'm going to stuff you by the pump. Let me get a light. Okay, so we're here in the car, right, at the fuel pump. So now, I'm just going to lay you down right here and grab a listen when I turn the ignition forward. Okay, I hope you guys heard that. I hope you guys heard that, but it kicks on and off intermittently, just, just, it's erratic, right? Um, so, I pulled my fuel pump connector, and what I hate about this is the colors change from this side of the connector to this side, but white and red, white is positive, red is negative. So I tested the pump, I put 12 volts to the pump, and I got a really nice clean sound coming from the pump. Okay, so can't be the pump. Then we get underneath here, give me a second, and there is our uh, fuel pump driver module. Now you can pretty much see how rotted that is, okay? And I don't know how well you can see, but let me get you closer. All right, so as you see, um, that's broken off, okay? But you can't really, really tell. Oh, you can't really, really tell, but there's a hole in the back of it because it's just die cast. So there's our problem. It is rotted through and the little electronics are all shot. <laughs> My hat fall off. Bald. Bald. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, went through all my schematics. Move your feet, child. <laughs> so I went through my schematics and I originally made the mistake of um, getting the power, the fuel pump power and the fuel pump return um, white and red. I was looking for the black for ground, okay? But it's actually uh, white and red. White power and ground is return because I didn't drag it over far enough and see that my red went to ground that makes the it completes the loop right so yeah I really hate how it changes colors when it gets to the actual uh, after the connector but anyway we got her <laughs> 
and I taught you something today. Womp, womp. I'm hungry. I'm starved. Go get. You should have brought munchies. I was busy doing things. Oh, My mm, cats mm, needed litter. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Really? Yeah. So, anyway, we got to pick up a fuel, uh, uh, fuel control module or driver, whatever they want to call it. And like any F-150 from like 04 to 2011 and a shit ton of different uh, vehicles will fit. Um, basically any newer Ford type deal. So we'll get that fixed up tomorrow and get it the frig out of my shop. <laughs> Cheers guys. Uh.